Paul Rowley tells me he gets eight hours of sleep a night. I find that a little hard to believe. Rowley graduated from William & Mary magna cum laude in three years with two degrees and as a member of the most prestigious honor society, Phi Beta Kappa. He's now in his second year of law school. And there is something else. All along, he's played basketball for the tribe. He's not a superstar, perhaps the most respected player on the team. Basketball has always been a passion. I'm a shooter, right? I shoot threes. I throw the ball in the hoop from 20 to 25 feet. I do it decently. Um, I, I've always loved just the sheer repetition of it. I find it very calming and it's fun to do with other people. Do you need to be set calm every once in a while? <laughs> oh, I definitely, I probably run at 100 miles an hour most of my days. Without a doubt, last season, the first year of law school was the most challenging. Stress management wise, as much as I talk about time management, I think stress management is a huge part of it. And uh, I didn't know if the whole law school basketball thing was going to work. Um, I, I didn't really express that. Obviously, I acted confidently and I was positive I could do both, but, but I was worried. For good reason, but it seems to be working out. This year, you know, after adjusting to law school, knowing, knowing what I'm getting into, knowing how to study, knowing how to, you know, do the right things for the right professors, um, having a job lined up for this summer, I feel like a lot of the pressure's off. I'm, I'm not coasting. I, I wouldn't call what I do coasting, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm maintaining. He's our leader, uh, unequivocally our leader. He's the most the, uh, enthusiastic, emotional leader of our club. Last Saturday was senior night. He's edging a little closer to the next phase of his life. And I think I'm, I'm prepared to kind of not only work in a high stress, high time management, high pressure environment, but to kind of be happy and thrive in it. He really enjoys what he's doing. I have people ask me all the time, have you ever had a player that smiles as much on a basketball court as he does? And uh, the answer is no. Uh, and, and sometimes I say maybe he shouldn't smile so much. Yeah. Maybe he should be a little more intense. I was maybe a little too happy-go-lucky, maybe a little too much whistles and smiles and rainbows um, for his liking when we first got here. I, he and I do great now. Rowley smiles as much as anyone you know. He has a terrific appreciation for everyday things and the game of basketball. Again, at the end of the day, we have an incredible opportunity. I like to say, even if my job was to come in here and get yelled at coach, by Coach Shaver for five hours a day, and he's not a big yeller, but even if it was, you know, what a great deal. You know, for the price, I'm, I'm gonna get almost three degrees out of this. You know, sign me up every time, 10 out of 10. <laughs> I think I'll add Paul Rowley to the list of superstars. Oh that my gosh, what a great attitude. Oh, he's awesome.